At least Dick should be able to find him using his clairvoyance telekinesis stuff. The shiny? Yeah, the shiny. That's what it's called. Howdy, folks! Welcome on back to You, Me, and the Movies. And it's time for a classic. Our Patreon subscribers have voted, and the number one movie they wanted us to watch in August is The Shining. Here's Johnny! It's the only thing you know about it. He really is, yeah. You've seen uh, references to The Shining in one of your favorite movies. Ready Player One, Ready yeah. Player One. I have right. seen some Shining references, so I know a little tiny bit about it, but not, I mean, not enough to... It's a classic, it's pop culture, if you have any experience with pop culture, it's all over it. So I know it's got Jack Nicholson. I always confuse three of his movies. This one, A Clockwork Orange, and One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. I don't think he's in A Clockwork Orange. Oh, really? That's Stanley Kubrick, though, the director, who's one of the film's greatest directors. All right, well, I don't know what the f*** I'm talking about then. <laughs> <laughs> so is there anything else you know about this? It's about a haunted house, I think. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. In, a, in a sense, yeah. In a sense, okay. <laughs> kind of. I was guessing, because it's got the... Creepy girls at the end of a hallway, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's about the only... And that's a reference from Ready Player One that I know. Mm -hmm. And other... Oh, I have seen that that part of the movie in Twister. The hallway scene? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. When they're when the Twister's about to hit and they're at a drive-in theater, it's playing on the drive-in theater movie screen. All so, right. So um, that's your experience with the show. Ready it. Player One and Twister <laughs> yeah. and other pop culture references that you... Yeah. Probably can't think of, but you've seen it. All right? Perfect. So are you ready to jump in then? If we have to, I All guess right. so. Well, we do. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out. Check out our Patreon link down below if you want to help us pick what we watch next. Get early access to all our videos and full-length commentaries and more. Check out the links down below. Let's watch The Shining. Just like Stephen King or something? Yeah, it's Stephen King. Okay. However, Stephen King does not like this movie. Oh, he wasn't a fan of the no, adaptation. That's why huh? in Ready Player One... Creator's creation, or hates his own creation yeah. or something, yeah. I don't like the sounds. <laughs> Summertime at a ski lodge. There he is, the Joker himself. My name is Jack Torrance. His office is the first door on the left. Why do they call it The Shining? You'll find out. What about Tony? He's looking forward to the hotel, I bet. Hey, it's a Torrance. Now, oh, come on, Tony, don't be silly. I don't want to call them Mrs. Torrance. Well, how come you don't want to go? I just don't. The only thing that can get a bit trying up here during the winter is uh, the tremendous sense of isolation. A ski hill during the winter would be isolating? It's a summer lodge. Can okay. itself become a problem. Not for me. They're going to blame the ghosts in this hotel on isolation? Oh, it's your imagination. Have they uh, told you anything in Denver about the tragedy we had up here during the winter of 1970? I don't believe they did. He came up here with his wife and two little girls, I think about eight and ten. The yeah. twin girls? He killed his family with an axe. And, uh, then he um, put uh, both barrels of a shotgun in his mouth. And he thought that it was what the old timers used to call cabin fever. I feel like we ought to get you out more. I'm fine. <laughs> I don't know. You do too, no. Now come on, tell me. No, I'm Tony, tell me. Recognize this scene from Ready Player One. So the kid's like clairvoyant or something. Tony is his clairvoyant friend. What was the donut party? They had to resort to cannibalism in order to stay alive. 
Don't worry, Mom. I know all about cannibalism. I saw it on TV. See? It's okay. You saw it on the television. <laughs> they got ping pong? Oh, yeah, they do have ping pong. Yes. I'd be playing ping pong all day. Super. The site is supposed to be located on an Indian burial ground, and I believe they actually had to repel a few. Mm, of the that's always a super were... idea. Two dozen of pork rolls and twenty legs of lamb. You like lamb, Doc? No. <laughs> you don't? Well, what's your favorite food then? French fries and ketchup. How <laughs> <laughs> you know that? Well, I guess I probably heard you call him that. Well, it's possible, but I honestly don't remember calling him that since we've been with you. Is this guy a ghost? <laughs> no. How'd you like some ice cream, Doc? They're both clairvoyant. Do you know how I knew your name was Doc? You know what I'm talking about, don't you? He knows he's the same kind of kind of guy. My grandmother and I could hold conversations entirely without ever opening our mouths. She called it shiny. Oh. Why don't you want to talk about it? I'm not supposed to. Who said you ain't supposed to? Tony. Is Tony the one that tells you things? Yes. Tony is the shining then. Has Tony ever told you anything about this place? Maybe things that happen, be not things that anyone can notice, but things that people who shine can see. I love him. I love him. I'm sad he's not going to be in the whole movie. Room 237? You're scared of room 237, ain't you? Yeah, he is. Uh-oh. Love big wheels. I do love big wheels. I don't love the scene that's gonna happen with him in a big wheel when he finds his little girls again. You're the best big wheel track ever. Though. That would be, yeah, that would be super fun. I was just thinking that, <laughs> like, just riding anywhere you want in big, huge circles. Look out! I'm coming in close. Who's <laughs> at the Oh, no. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Yeah. I don't think I'd like um like a in person mate. Like I like mazes on a piece of paper. When you don't know where the end is, I don't like that idea. Ever gone to a corn maze? No. Yeah. Are those like give up bells? Like I'm lost. Mm -hmm. Ring the bell so someone come finds you. I didn't think it's gonna be this big, did you? No. Still in the maze. Tuesday. What day did they start? <laughs> no, don't go in room 237. He said don't do it. Keep on rolling, buddy. Please be locked. Yeah, pick a different hallway. What's he writing about? Story about killing his wife and son or something. Get a lot written today? Yes. Oh, is he writing story, the story about the massacre that happened there? Concentration is distracting me, and it will then take me time to get back to where I was. When I'm in here, that means that I am working. That means don't come in. I think you can handle that. I mean, it's a fair rule, but you don't have to be a about it. Why don't you start right now and get the out of here? Hmm. Seriously, I'm good rule. Love setting boundaries. <laughs> don't be such a prick, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'll try not to talk like him while I'm editing. <laughs> you do get a little feisty. <laughs> but it's fair, I probably shouldn't be bugging you. Uh-oh. He's getting the Johnny in him. 
Is his name Johnny? No, it's Jack. Oh yeah, Jack. It's gonna be Johnny. That's not a good look. It's just thinking. Oh god, he plays freaking creepy so well. Oh, give me like goosebumps. She just wants to call her mom. Don't go bug him. You will get your ass reamed. Oh, okay. Hello, Danny. They're British? Come and play with us, Danny. Don't do it, Danny. Oh, God. Don't do it, Danny. And ever. And ever. Roll away, buddy. No oh, god. Monday. Great. Come here for a minute first. Danny's not buying it. Do you like this hotel? Yeah. Don't you? I guess so. Good. I want you to like it here. Because you're going to live here forever. You would never hurt mommy and me, would you? ever say that to you? That I would hurt you? No, he's seen you kill him. Never do anything to hurt you. Never. You know that, don't you? Hmm? Yes, Dad. Good. Do you believe him? Not buying it. Not buying it. <laughs> oh, no. Go away, girls. I love his sweater. I think his mom made that for him? Probably. He's got cool sweaters. That Mickey Mouse one he was just wearing is pretty cool. No, 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 no. Why are you in that hallway? That door is open. Oh, good. Don't go in there, Danny. Oh, good. Mom, are you you should have burned that key. So, so he Jack's the winner caretaker and here she is doing, doing all the work. <laughs> Did he kill Danny? Jack! Jack! <laughs> well, I dreamed that I that I killed you with Danny. I didn't just kill you. <laughs> I cut you up into little pieces. Oh, jeez. I must be losing my mind. <laughs> it, it, everything's gonna be all right. Come on, let's get up off the floor. Huh? Oh God, Danny, are you okay? What's wrong with Danny? Danny, Danny, not what I say. Go play in your room. Oh god. Oh my god. Danny, what happened to your neck? What the f You son of a bitch! You did this to him! Didn't you? You think it was Jack? I don't know. In my goddamn soul. Just a glass of beer. Just gonna beat one in front of him. Hi, Lloyd. A little slow tonight, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is, Mr. Torrance. I wouldn't touch one hair on his goddamn little head. I love the little son of a bitch. <laughs> There's a crazy woman in one of the rooms. She tried to strangle Danny. 237. The door was open and he saw this crazy woman in the bathtub. 
She tried to strangle him! I do recall from Ready Player One some creepy ass woman in the room. It's got killer decor. <laughs> We've had some posters like that in our room. <laughs> no, no, he's going all shiny. That's not promising. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh no. I don't think that's what she actually looks like. It is. I don't know what Danny's worried about. I'd let her choke me. Nice one. She's very tall. Just don't think she's gonna stay that beautiful. Oh jeez. She's like a temptress. She's gonna like possess him or something. I don't know. What is happening? Uh, sir, you're married? Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <gasps> What's happening to Danny? Did you find anything? No, nothing at all. No, not a thing. I didn't see one goddamn thing. Why is he lying? I think he did it to himself. You punch yourself in the neck? How do you do that? Once you rule out his version of what happened, there is no other explanation. Well, you're still on the docket for maybe doing it. Whatever the explanation is. <laughs> I think we have to get Danny out of here. You mean just leave the hotel it is so typical of you to create a problem like this when i finally have a chance to accomplish something i have let you my life so far but i am not gonna let you this up he goes from zero to 60 real fast he's going back to that creepy old lady in room 237 gonna go dancing with his new girlfriend Good evening, Mr. Torrance. Good evening. Oh, fun. It's like a, from the 1920s or so. Either that or they're having a 1920s party. Yeah. No charge to you, Mr. Torrance. No charge? Your money's no good here. We're all dead. It doesn't matter. It's not a matter that concerns you, Mr. Torrance. At least not at this point. You're going to want to be wasted before you kill your family. Anything you say, Lloyd. Anything you say. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I'm so sorry, sir. Oh. Oh, dear. What the hell was that? Jackets. I'm afraid it's Avocar, sir. He tends to stain. Well, Avocar, is it? Yes, sir. Look, um, I think the best... What is it? Looks as though you might have got a spot of it on yourself there, Jeevesy old boy. Uh -huh. well, that doesn't matter, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll just... Set my bourbon and advocat down. Right. Avocat? Yeah, I'm not even sure what that is. Grady? Yes, sir. Delbert Grady. Mr. Grady, <clears throat> haven't I seen you somewhere before? Weren't you once the caretaker here? Fine is, sir. You uh married man, are you, Mr. Grady? Yes, sir. Hmm? 
I have a wife and uh, two daughters, sir. Oh, jeez. You uh, chopped your wife and daughter up into little bits, and you blew your brains out. What's happening? I don't have any recollection of that at all. But you... You've always been the caretaker. Oh, God. Forever and ever. I've always been here. I'm so confused. But your son is attempting to bring an outside party into this situation. Tony? Do you know that? Who? Jesus. But Dick has been there before before they like longer than they have. I don't understand. An outside party, he is the cook there. That doesn't make any sense. Perhaps they need a good talking to. Mm, no. You don't mind my saying so? I mind. And when my wife tried to prevent me from doing my duty, I corrected her. By chopping them into little pieces? Seems a bit of an overcorrection. It's KDK 1, calling KDK 12. Oh no. Heavy snow, snowing hard throughout the uh, Denver metro area, many of the mountain passes. Uh, Wolf Creek and Red Mountain passes are already closed. And the is Dick going to be able to get to him? I don't know, but he's a good man for even trying. Oh my gosh. He's just trying to protect Danny. <sighs> so nervous. Uh oh. Oh, that's what that line is from, huh? Oh, shit. he's been writing a novel at the same sentence. Oh, got the goosebumps. <laughs> It's gonna be a bestseller. I feel bad for the production assistant had to type I know, all those I was pages. just thinking that. Like, <laughs> God, whoever had to type all those pages, what a <laughs> job. How do you like it? It's great, honey. You did wonderful. You think maybe he should be taken to a doctor? When do you think maybe he should be taken to a doctor? As soon as possible. As soon as possible. Jack! Jack, what are you talking about? Have you ever had a single moment's thought about my responsibilities? Have you ever thought- You can stay. Well, I'm very confused. You're looking really pathetic right now, right? Like, get it together. Stay away from me! Wendy? Stay away! Darling, light of my life. I'm not gonna hurt you. You didn't let me finish my sentence. I said, I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just going to bash your brains in. I'm going to bash them right the f*** in. <laughs> Stay away from me! Stay away! Stop swinging the bat. Yeah, you look pathetic. Save your energy for one big swing. Right in his nuts. Give me the bat. Oh, God damn. Hit him. Hit him harder. You're gonna want to hit him again. <laughs> now pull the pin out, honey. Pull the pin out. Pull the damn pin out! <laughs> well, don't put him in that one. You'll need that food. Wendy, listen! Let me out of here and I'll forget the whole goddamn thing! You got a lot of food. You can drink the pickle juice, you'll be fine. I'm dizzy. I need a doctor. Just go away, Wendy. <laughs> Don't leave me in here. Leave him in there. No, just go away. Walk right away from him. Oh, again. I'm gonna go. Don't tell him, just go. 
Don't tell him what you're doing. Just leave. I hate her. I hate her right now. Go check out the snow cat in the radio and you'll see what I mean. <laughs> Go check it out. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be running with a knife like that. <laughs> Wendy? It's Grady, Mr. Torrance. Delbert Grady. Grady? Your wife appears to be stronger than we imagined, Mr. Torrance. She yeah, sure doesn't act like it. Ghosts can open doors. Where do you get a snow cat? We got one from the forest service or whatever. They're just like, here, take this. Good luck. Red drum. Red drum. Red drum. Red rum. Red rum. It's gonna write murder on the door. Oh, murder. Backwards is red rum. Got it. I was very confused. Red rum! Red rum! Red rum! Red rum! Stop it! Red rum! Get it! Red rum! Red rum! Wendy, I'm home. Come on, squeeze your skinny ass through there. Come on. Come on, Wendy. Run. I can't get out. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. Not by the hair on your chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in. Wendy, just don't weep right now. I can't handle the screaming. Here's Johnny. Stab him in the throat. You know that line, here's Johnny, was improvised? Oh, really? Jack just did it. Keep your game face on. Oh no. Why'd you go back inside? That's cold out. At least Dick should be able to find him using his clairvoyance telekinesis stuff. The shiny? Yeah, the shiny. That's what it's called. <laughs> Woman, get your shit together! God, she's pissing me off so bad. Like, there is a time to cry, and now is not it. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Dick, I hope you came armed, buddy. Hello? Oh no. Anybody here? Oh no. Hello? Don't kill Dick, I really like him. Hello? Hiding behind one of those pillars. That back one? Is he hiding behind it?
the one thing I didn't want them to do. Danny! Oh, Danny! Where the f you going? Jeez. Oops, sorry, wrong floor. Danny! Oh, just stay there, Danny. Danny! Maybe, like, hide in one of the hedges? Gonna follow your footprints. She's got one f chance to redeem herself right now. If she doesn't kill that psycho, she's just a complete waste of space in my mind. Great party, isn't it? Come on, buddy. Here comes the blood. Come on, Danny. His parents gonna find him first. Well, he's gonna find his mom. His mom's not gonna find him. She's a waste of space. Uh, hustle, hustle, hustle. No time for hugs. What's that now? Is this the devil coming back out of him, or what is happening? He's freezing to death. Amen. We call him Jack Sickleson now. Jack what? Jack Sickleson now. <laughs> nice. Should we just burn this hotel then? Is that it's probably the best solution? Light her up. What the hell? Yeah, we see him there. We just don't know why. Now he's always been there, just like Grady. Yeah. The end. Oi. Hmm. Alright. You finally watched The Shining. Yep. And what'd you think? Iconic. Yeah. Uh, Could have punched that mom in the face a few times. <laughs> you didn't like Wendy at all. Not at all. She was not a very good mother bear. <laughs> the whole damn time. Like, could they have made a more pathetic character? <laughs> she did two good things the entire time. Pushing him down the stairs, which was pretty much lucky on her part, because this was not doing it she for me. She got one good swing in, right? Yeah. And then driving that snow cat away yeah. at the very end. Mm -hmm. After Danny did all the work. Losing his dad in the maze yeah. and then getting it back out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, maybe a third thing. Getting him out of the bathroom window. Yeah. Three things she did right. Everything else was just pathetic. So did you understand what was happening? Because you said you have no idea what's going on. Right. Like, <sighs> it's some sort of I don't know. Like it didn't it was possession of some so, kind. So the Overlook is haunted. Right. Like Grady was the caretaker in the 70 that killed right. his family. And the whole, they want him to stay there forever and to do that he has to kill his family and himself and then he'll be able to he stay becomes the part of them forever. Right. Yeah, but why would you want to stay at the Overlook forever? It's a beautiful hotel. Free drinks. Uh, beautiful hotel possessed by 
demons. <laughs> great. Free drinks for life. Oh, great. I'm sure they go more into the. Obviously, they do in the book, in the book. Yeah. About what's really going on at the Overlook and what's because this is actually a lot different from what I hear. That's why Stephen King doesn't like it. Is Kubrick took liberties and changed oh, a bunch of things. Sure. But overall, the the plot. Danny's special ability is kind of still there. Yeah, so. very cool. I like. I loved that part. I loved the part with Dick at the beginning, mm-hmm. talking to him about the ice cream, and then like sitting down with him, and like, "Hey, you got something special. Yeah. Don't you know? You don't have to be afraid of it or hide it." That was that was sweet. I liked mm-hmm. that. Now there is a sequel to this. Oh. And it's so the cool Great. the cool Great. thing about the sequel that just came out. I think two years ago, it stars Ewan McGregor, who played Obi Wan Kenobi in the prequels. Mm-hmm. He plays Danny as an adult. As an adult, huh? And it's called Doctor Sleep, and Danny's nickname is Doc. So he makes you wonder. Okay. Doctor Sleep is kind of his character, right? But it's also the cool thing about the the movie, from what I've seen, I haven't watched it, but the trailers. Not only is it based on the book that Stephen King wrote, mm-hmm. but they kind of the way they made it is it's a sequel to both the movie. And it's based on the book. So there's... Hmm. It takes some of the iconic imagery from the Shining movie. Yeah. And brings it into the into the film adaptation. So... Is it a separate book or it's... Yeah, it's a separate book. Oh. Stephen King wrote a sequel. Okay. Like, Didn't know that. I think recently, like 30 years later to tell oh, the story cool. of what Daniel does as an adult. His further adventures with his, you know... His special, special gift. Book, the Shining, mm-hmm. right? So I think we should watch because I've never seen it. Yeah. And... It'd be interesting. I, lo- I love you and McGregor too. So. Yeah, I love the whole concept of telekinesis. Yeah, and telekinesis clairvoyance. and clairvoyance. Yeah, I'm a believer in that sort of stuff. So, mm-hmm. um, I'd love to watch that movie actually. Right, well, what should people comment on? Oh boy, best one-liner. What is their favorite? Because there's a lot of, I mean, iconic one-liners in this movie for sure. <laughs> My favorite is when Jack repeats back to Wendy, "Is it possible?" When she's like. When do you think we should get him to the doctor? And she goes, as soon as possible. And he goes, as soon as possible. <laughs> in her voice. I thought that was great. That was probably also an improv ad-lib. by Jack, yeah. right? Yeah, so, probably. I love that part. And then also, I mean, the famous line from the movie is also just Jack being Jack. And- he was amazing. Mm-hmm. I mean, terrifying. Yeah. He's got that. He's got that look. He yeah, he it's can, the eyebrows. He knows how to do it. It's the eyebrows that help make his, his eyes look crazy. Grin. Mm-hmm. Crazy so. eyebrows, crazy mm-hmm. mouth. Yep, no, he's got the look for sure. And what, how he, you, he can make himself look so angry mm-hmm. at this switch. I mean, just yeah. like that, right? There's it's also something crazy. welcoming about Jack Nicholson, too, though. He has a persona and the ability to be like, this guy seems like a lot of fun. He does seem very charismatic, right? yeah. So. Very charismatic. And we just watched him last month and Departed, too. So mm-hmm. I mean, this is too... 20 years different, you know, 20 years later in the part and playing an older character, but yeah. still, he's got range. Jack is probably one of the greatest actors of our era. Yeah. Right? So, so yeah. What's your favorite line from The Shining? And if you've read the book, tell us the differences between the book and the movie. Mm-hmm. And the I'm not going to read Kubrick the book, took, so go so. ahead and tell me. Anything else people should comment on? I think that's good for me. If you want us to watch Dr. Sleep, let us know in the comments as well. Yeah. Right? Anything else? Like, comment, subscribe. If you didn't already do it, come hang out with us next time. Mm-hmm. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full-length commentaries, and more. The link's down below. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.